Hello, it's Jen from Stamp Silly. Today I'm going to show you how to create a focal point for your sentiment as I've done here. This is a great technique to really make that sentiment stand out. And we are going to get right after it. So let's get started. I'm going to start with a piece of Whisper White cardstock and it measures it measures four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to use my grid paper. I know that my piece of pattern paper is two inches wide, so I'm going to make a mark with my pencil at the two inch mark, and I'm not even going to mark my whole card, but I'm just going to make a couple marks. That way I don't, I don't um, put my sentiment over into that area, I don't get too close over there. It's just a nice guide. And I'm going to ink up my sentiment, which is from Oh Hello. I'm inking it up in basic gray. We'll stamp it on there like that. I got it a little bit crooked, but you know what? That happens, doesn't it? And then I'm going to use a piece of stamping mask paper. This is basically the equivalent of a sticker, but it's not so tacky. It's a little bit more tacky than a post-it note. And I just find that this is great stuff to work with. So all I'm doing here is covering up my sentiment so that I don't accidentally stamp on it. Basically I'm masking it off and we are going to stamp some flowers on there. The first one is a large flower from the Mixed Bunch stamp set. And I'm stamping that in Baja Breeze like so. And you'll notice I and I have this problem. If somebody has a solution, please let me know. But when I mask, a lot of times my stamp won't stamp real crisp up against that mask. Um, so if somebody has a solution for that, they need to let me know because I have that problem quite often. But we're going to cure that after a bit here. And now I'm going to stamp a couple of flowers from the... Um, from Madison Avenue is the name of the stamp set and this is actually one of those freebie stamp sets you can get from Celebration. I know how much we all love free things and this one is well worth it. It's such a cute little set and it has a lot of possibilities with it. And now I'm going to stamp a couple of the other flowers from that stamp, same stamp set and just trying to fill in over here some different areas. I might actually throw an extra one in down here just for good measure. That's okay. Oh heck, why not, why not one more, right? Okay, we're good. I'm going to fill those centers in with the little, the littlest little flower image. I'm using summer star fruit for that. Oopsie, I totally missed on that center, but you know what? It's okay. Okay, missed on that one too. Anyway, no biggie. So, now I'm going to peel off this mask. I'm going to do so pretty slowly. It's really pretty forgiving, but um, if I'm really careful with it, I can reuse that same mask over and over a couple of times. And it actually, the more I use it, the easier it pulls off. Just like that. You see I've left a little bit of it. There we go. Okay, so we really want that to pop, to punch out. And all I'm going to do is take my basic gray marker. I'm going to use the brush end. And again, I'm going to line my card up on my grid paper. You know, I have to say, for $9.95, you get 100 sheets of grid paper. It's something every crafter should have. And if not for you, use it for your kids. They love this large size paper that they can draw on. Okay, so I'm just going to make a line across there. And do you see how that really covers up where my ink didn't completely fill in against that mask? It really finishes off that. Um, it finishes off that sentiment area. 
I'm going to go over into this side, like so. Okay, voila! You know, look at how easy that is. It doesn't take you any time. And then when you're done, you take your pattern paper, and here I've already assembled it with um, one of a portion of one of our little doilies, our paper doilies, and some um, matching designer series paper. It helps draw that summer star fruit color in from those. And if you wanted to go even further, you know what? Add add some pearls and one of the little dahlias, and you've got a really nice looking card. And that sentiment just really stands out. I love it. So I have one more sample to show you. This is another card using that same stamp set, the Oh Hello stamp set and the Thanks So Much. And here, you know what I did before I, before I stamped this chevron oval pattern, I put my mask paper across there and masked it off and then stamped and die cut it and then I stamped the sentiment. It worked really great. And you know what, added some of our um, flower trim and stamped some of the chevron images from that stamp set and, and another really awesome card. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial today and come back for more. I've got more to show you. And in the meantime, be sure to check out my blog, stampedsilly.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching.